Have you ever wondered where all of these come from? You might say from a factory, but this innovation started with research. Research is done if we want to look for an answer or if we want to learn new things. But knowing how to do it properly will help you find answers to any question. Now, how exactly do we do that? That is what we'll talk about in today's video. Hello, I'm Miss Angel and welcome to APEC TV. You know what? Doing basic research is actually very easy. All you have to do is remember the acronym GALEPEDE. Let's talk about it one by one. First is GA. GA stands for Gain Context. This means that you should try to understand the topic you are researching. For example, if your topic is about efficacy of ketogenic diet, you do not just type those words in the search box. Rather, you can try breaking down the topics into smaller subtopics first and ask yourself questions like, what is ketogenic diet? What is a diet? What are the examples of ketogenic diet? Who invented ketogenic diet? Or what is the importance of ketogenic diet? Second is I. I stands for identify the goal and purpose. When you do your actual research, you do not just simply add to know more about in the beginning of your topic and choose the first article that comes up. This step will help you if you are clear as to why you are doing the research. So ask yourself, why am I doing this or how is this valuable to me? Third is L. L stands for least what you know. After doing steps 1 and 2, you can now come up with a list of what you know, what you don't know, and what else you want to know. Believe me, you will end up with the long list of things that you know already and the things that you still don't know. This long list will help you identify how extensive your research will be and will help you to filter what you want to focus on. Fourth is P. P stands for Pick and Evaluate Your Resources. This time, you will now start gathering resources as many as you can and check if each one of those is valid, accurate, reliable, thorough, and complete. In short, BART-C. Fifth is D. D stands for Do Your Research. This is when you start working on your research with a guide of the previous steps. And lastly, E. E stands for Evaluate Your Work. This is when you check if your work is complete and thorough. Make sure that you did not just copy and paste but actually read and retyped according to your understanding. So, that's it. It's actually easier than how it sounds. If you want to know more about this topic and what else we can help you with, join us at Apex Schools where we get better each day. You may reach us at the following numbers and addresses.